guys I am here in Colorado doing one of my favorite activities and that is grocery shopping so one of my absolute favorite stores here in Colorado is actually Sprouts and they've got a brand new Sprouts here in the I think this is the Stapleton area my mom and I drove past it a couple days ago and I was like, oh my God. Hi, my name is Jasmine. My husband Gozi and I are expats who have lived in both India and Morocco. I love to travel and when I can, I love trying new foods too. Gozi and I are back in the US preparing for our next move abroad. I am actually in Colorado visiting family and seeing the sights. I know this is probably kind of weird for those of you that are not obsessed with grocery shopping like I am, but I have filmed grocery shopping hauls and vlogs in every place that I've lived in or visited for the most part. So I'm gonna do it here. Here we go. Let's hit the road. It's so neat and organized. I'm just looking for some snacks and a couple of like quick meals that me and my mom would like for our little staycation trip. This is one of those like healthy grocery stores, so more like on the health food side. So you've got, you know, more of your organic plant-based type of products. I think we we're looking for some like quick ready meals like this. This is to where some of the international items are. I guess it'd be in this aisle here. And we've got our Indian food here and some of our coconut milks and things to make up our curries. I'm thinking about getting something like this, but I would like it to have a little bit more vegetables. So maybe we'll get like a doll. So my mom was asking me to make doll, but I have not yet done that. So there's quite a bit of options. I'd actually love to make one of these, but I need vegetables and different things like that. And we're looking at doing something more minimal. So I think something that has like items all included might be a little bit better. This one looks pretty promising. I think that would be good for two people. Yeah, that should be good. This one actually might like this one. A little bit better, I think. Because it's sweet. So when it has like a Indian coconut situation, that means it's a little sweeter. So I think maybe we'll do both. Well, maybe I'll get both. So they've got pretty affordable prices when it comes to their fruits here. And then they always have a good stock of vegetables here. So we don't need any of this stuff today, but just so that you all know, if you're looking for some affordable fruits and veggies. Sprouts has a bulk section, and this is probably my favorite thing about shopping at Sprouts, but because of the pandemic, they now prepackage all of their items. So you can't get like the amount that you want but it's okay, I think this stuff is still good to get and pretty affordable depending on what you're looking for. It actually looks pretty good if you're like a fish eater. We've got a good selection of fish and meats and cold items and different things like that. We just finished in Sprouts. I think it was a pretty successful trip. Um, although the stuff came out to a little bit more than I expected, it's okay. I didn't do the math, it's my fault. Um, but yeah, we got a, good, a lot of good stuff. And I think what we'll do is do a haul when I get back to my mom's house and I'll show you guys what I picked up. you all haul from Sprout, so let's do it really quickly. I'll show you what we purchased for our little trip. I don't know if I told you guys we're doing a staycation at a tiny house, so you wanna stay tuned to the next video so you're up to date. Let's go. First thing we got are these 
delicious kettle chips. I've been craving like salt and vinegar chips for some time now. So I got these, these are the Sprouts brand and they were like $1.99, which for a small bag, that seems kind of a lot, but compared to the other chips they had, it's pretty good value for Sprouts. And then like I mentioned, we're having an Indian feast. So I got this Indian coconut and vegetable curry. And it's actually hot and spicy, and I didn't know if my mom would be able to take hot and spicy, so I also got us the Everyday Doll. This is the green garbanzo and corn with coriander doll. Really excited for this. All right, and then of course, to kind of tie it all together, we've got some basmati rice, and I need to look at the instructions to see how we make all of these. I'm assuming we can maybe either boil it in hot water or Put it in the microwave. It, it should be pretty easy, honestly. And what I love about this, it's vegan, gluten-free, and I believe this is also vegan and gluten-free. There shouldn't be any animal products in this. Yeah, plant-based protein, ready in 90 seconds, and this one is also vegetarian and gluten-free, so pretty good. And then we've got some clementines, which will go very far. I love little oranges. And then last but not least, oh, we've got two more things actually. We've got this Nusa yogurt, which could be for breakfast or could be for a snack. It's really decadent. It reminds me of ice cream, it's so good. And then that, last but not least, we've got these cookies that were 99 cents, so I was like, I had to pick them up. They are gluten-free and I believe dairy-free as well. They're plant-based, dairy-free, peanut-free, all those things. They could be extremely disgusting, or they could be really good. You can eat them raw, and I was just like, why not? 99 cents, can't go wrong. The dog is about to work. Tanner, hi, dear whisper. Hi, hey, hey. Am I confusing you, or you're not allowed to get up? Because you look confused. I don't know what the rules are. I don't know if he's allowed to be up here or not. You wanna come up here? Yeah, I'm really just excited to eat and uh, devour everything that we picked up at the store, especially this. If y'all haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. It is so delicious. It is so absolutely delicious. I'm rambling. I think it's because I'm actually hungry. So yeah, what can we pop open right now? 